and it's taking like this time is going by fast which is a good thing um it makes you a lot nervous the closer it gets because it's like ah, i still ain't ready but you'll never fully be ready um you just gotta be ready enough to, to handle it. so this morning it is 12 days out for the bar exam and two weeks from today this entire process will be completely behind me um, I'll be walking out of Common Desk at about 4.30 p.m. two weeks from today, and I will be done with this. Um, I won't be looking back. This will just be over. So today I am working on my MBE simulated exam, and my school purchased a simulated MBE um, software program that administers uh, really tough questions to help you prepare for the MBE exam. Uh, this program is called PMBR. So they'll administer a simulated exam and then uh, there's about two days of review of all 200 questions and he breaks down everything you need to know about that question and provides you with tips and tricks on how to get to the correct answer. So it's just another set of practice questions, different style of writing than what I've been seeing over the last eight weeks. So it's gonna be good to mix it up and see how I do with this program uh, because I've been doing Themis and Adapt the Bar really heavy for the last eight weeks. So, um, that's what I have on my schedule today. Honestly, that Florida simulated exam wore me out yesterday. So the only thing I was able to do afterwards was uh, review some Florida criminal procedure. And I just looked over the outline. Um, I didn't try to do anything substantive, but just kind of reviewing the outline and looking over rules to keep them fresh and learn anything that's not already in my head. So um yeah that's what i have planned for today so i'm excited it's gonna be a six hour day three hours in the morning three hours in the evening 100 questions a piece um break break it broken up into 50 questions a set so two sessions this morning two sessions this evening um but yeah like i said it's 12 more days uh, these days are flying by I swear I get up and by the time I blink, stand up the day and I'm like in bed. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited to have this process over and have it behind me. I'm really excited to be able to move on with my life and to just enjoy life, to heal, to keep focusing on healing. Um, and just focus on myself without having this looming over my head. So it's been an emotional roller coaster. It's been an emotional journey from the start. Cause I tell you, I quit day one of law school. <laughs> I quit day one and every day after that, my first year. Um, so it has, it has been a, a roller coaster, a roller coaster full of emotions from day one. And now I'm just ready to put it behind me. And um, yeah, so after I finish this, I'm gonna take a break and then review some federal constitutional law for the essays, um, because right now that's where I need to make sure I'm well equipped at. Um, because I don't know what topics I'm gonna pull. So I wanna know the big issues that are commonly tested within those essay topics. So um, after today, once I finish this simulated, I'll be back on Adaptabar and doing some themes, multiple choice questions. And then um, that'll be my morning and then my afternoons will be spent essays. Uh, reviewing the rules for the essays over and over, committing them to memory, uh, probably writing some of them out, and uh, really focusing on just the bigger picture, the bigger concept, to be able to write a thorough essay uh, 
to get as many points in that section as possible. I'm gonna try to strive for 50% um, on essays. I was at 45, I ranged from 40 to 48 in this past administration. So I wanna make sure or try at least to get 50% um, this time around to really solidify and really just close this thing out. Like my bar prep coach said, now it's just time for me to bring it home. I've done all the preparation, I've done all the work. I ran all the bases. Now it's just trying to get to home base. And um, I'm gonna do that. I know I'm gonna do it. Um, like I said, God didn't bring me this far to leave me. Um, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So, um, that's just, that's just what it's going to be. So I'm going to get ready and get my mindset ready for this simulated MPE. Because while it doesn't sound long, it is long. I don't even want to know how long these questions are. And I have yet to sit for 50 questions straight on the MBE in about two weeks. So usually my sets are 34 or 20. Themis has some 50 question sets, but I've only done one. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, but it's all a mental thing. You gotta make sure that you keep your endurance up and because once you lose your endurance, I feel like that's when the exam can go left. So making sure you keep your endurance up and um, your mindset focused, taking breaks when you need to, like when you realize your mind's starting to shift, refocusing it. Um, because I, I noticed that yesterday, after going through so many questions, you, you get so anxious to be done, your mind starts shifting and you start rushing. Um, so, just making sure you refocus it so you don't you don't mess up or you don't make unwanted or unwarranted mistakes so looking forward to seeing what the results are um 200 questions let's go we got this all right guys so i just finished the pmbr simulated exam and let me just tell y'all how exhausting the MBE is. I mean, this whole test is exhausting, but that was just a whole nother level of exhaustion. Um, but needless to say, it was very stimulating and challenging, which I expected that. Um, but I do think um, what my coach told me was absolutely correct. Like it broadens your horizon on the different style of questions that can be asked and just gives you a different look of what you have been used to um as i was going through it i did 50 took a break did 50 took another break did lunch 50 break 50. um so i did it like it was exam day and um during one of my breaks i was telling Shatice that <laughs> I would be surprised if I had scored over 100 because when I was going through them, I truly felt like I didn't know anything. Like there was a lot of questions where I was like, I have no idea what you're asking me or what type of law you are testing me on. Like what is going on? And I was like, I wouldn't be shocked if I scored under 100. And so, you know, she gave me my little pep talk that I needed. Um, and I finished my last set of 50. So I got my results back and I did a 117 out of 200. So basically what that tells me is that being two weeks away from test day, I'm not where I need to be um, as far as scoring what I need to score on the MBE. So the goal is to score a 136 on the MBE. So scoring a 117, that put me at 59%. Now they want you to be at 65% across the topics. So I had, I think three or four topics where I was over the threshold or right at the threshold and then i had uh the remainder topics where i was in the 55 and up percentage range so 
I still have a lot of work to do in two weeks um, based on PMBR's analysis, which is okay. I'm gonna use this as a learning opportunity. I have about four. I'm eating dinner. I'm reviewing this simulated MBE that I did earlier. I had ribs, so it is so good. But I'm taking notes. Like I said earlier, I got 83 wrong, so I'm taking notes of the ones that I got wrong. It's hard to make mental note of why I got them wrong. Um, so if I see them on the bar exam, I'll recognize them. But I'm also taking mental note of the ones that I got right, but I don't really know why I got it right. Like I may have went through the logic through my head, but still don't understand how I came to the right conclusion. So I'm just taking mental note of all of them. My coach told me to only do the ones I got wrong, but since I try to go through this again, I feel like it'd be beneficial that I could, like to go through all of them. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what else am I gonna do? Go watch TV? Like, you can wait, even though that's what I want to do. You can wait. So, today is February 11th, and I am officially 11 days out from the first day of the bar exam. And when I tell you time is ticking, and I feel like I say this every every video, but it is, it's really going by extremely fast and like the pressure is kind of like piling on low key but I'm trying not to really it's crazy baby dive deep into it um I'm really trying not to get into it at all but um I did get up this morning um my alarm went off at 3 30 but I didn't officially get out of bed until 4 and I got started um, by 4.15 so I've been at it for about 4 hours. <laughs> okay so today I am 10 days out oh my god um uh no but for real though i'm 10 days out and it is just exhaustion phase at this point um i am tired but i'm gonna push through it i am going to take the breaks that i need and i'm not going to let it consume me but um nevertheless i am tired um I'm sitting here, I just finished my second set of adapter bar questions. So it is my first time out of the house in two days because I've just, one, it's just been too cold and I personally don't do cold weather. So I've just sat in the house and DoorDash meals um, if I needed them. But I just stepped outside for the first time in two days to go run to UPS. And we got flurries here in Texas. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but yeah, we got little flurries coming down. Um, let me hurry up and get back from freaking uh, UPS because I ain't got time for this. Like, no, I don't. But it does feel good to be out, fresh air. Cause when I tell you, I've literally only opened the door and closed it for the last two days. Like I've not been outside. But I figured, you know, even though it's cold out, I need some fresh air. Um, Cause I've literally only just been in the environment of that home. And while I have been very productive, you know, sometimes your brain just needs to breathe. You need to breathe. You need to soak in fresh air. Like I do try to study with the blinds open instead of turn on the light so I can have the natural light come in. Um, but you can tell it ain't much light outside. So um, yeah, but it does feel good like to be outside, to be breathing in fresh air. It's cold as I don't know what, but um, it's only temporary because I'm about to take my behind back in the house and get back to studying. 
but I decided to get some fresh air, go drop this off to UPS so Amazon can give me back my money for what I ordered that don't fit my iPad. Um, so yeah, that's what me and uh, Shatisa up to two right now. She's going to get food, I'm going to UPS. But um, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> so Shatisa and I just pulled up the Little Caesars. And why do these people got to drive through? <laughs> like, I ain't never seen no drive through for no Little Caesars, for no pizza place at all, period. Yes. And this ain't the first place. This is my first time seeing this when I moved down here. When you got here? Mm -hmm. I know I wasn't tripping. I'm like, they got a drive through They lazy around here. Shit, I don't blame them. Right. Because <laughs> I don't be wanting to get out of the car. Like, drive through for and Smoothie King. I ain't never seen no Smoothie King with no drive through Only tropical smoothie. But yes, I'm, here I'm here for it. I'm here for it. All for sure. All right, so we are nine days, nine days out from the first day of the bar exam. And to say I am thrilled is an understatement of 2021 and it's only February 13th in 2021. But yes, so we are nine days out and I am just trying my hardest to grind it out um i swear the closer you get to being done the harder it becomes to wake up every morning and, and give it another go of studying um give it a, another go full day of studying so um you just got to keep your energy up take breaks as you see fit and do what's best to keep your mental state together um because it gets tough it gets tough because it's like your body and your mind knows that you're so close to being done and it just wants to be done it doesn't want to get up anymore and go sit in front of a desk or at a desk in front of a computer and do more questions it just wants to get up and go live life um, so the closer you get, the more you'll feel like, I just can't do it anymore. I just can't go anymore. I can't look at another practice set. I can't do another practice set. I can't review another practice set. I can't look at another essay. I can't review another note card. Like your body and your mind starts to go through that. Um, especially if you have like, you know, life out there. If you're close with your family or maybe, you know, your TV shows are back on TV and you just want to lay up in bed and Netflix and chill or Hulu and chill and watch your TV shows. Um, it gets hard. It gets hard. But you just got to you got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. You got to force yourself to do another practice set, to look at another note card, to review another essay um, and to just give it all you got those last nine nine ten days or whatever like in the final stretch it's like running a four by one and last leg gets the baton like they can't just give up after you know first second and third leg done did their part like they gotta they gotta finish strong they gotta finish it strong or if you run a 200 meter dash and you come around that corner you got that last stretch you ain't just gonna give up after you've had a strong start like no you're gonna kick it in gear that's what the coaches tell you like when you hit that curve kick it in gear and so that's kind of what bar prep is like you know they always tell you it's a marathon it's not a sprint um but them last 10 days that's a full sprint um you got to give it all you got you got to kick it in gear you got to give it that extra time take breaks as needed because like i said earlier you don't want to just keep pushing through pushing through to take the mental space you need to gather your thoughts it does help um because i'm telling you today i am struggling i really am um and I know I'm going to have days like this leading up until to exam day, but you can't afford it. Um, you you just have to keep pushing um, because at this point you can't afford days off. You just got to keep pushing, got to push through it, give it another go, do another set. Keep failing if that's if that's what it is. Like if, if you realize it, like, you know, you take that break and you get back to it and you just can't shake not hitting your goals or failing keep doing it but use that as a learning opportunity the ones that you're getting wrong you're getting wrong for a reason so go back and review them understand why you got them wrong and then apply that in the next set and hopefully that helps and if it doesn't help i have my reminder get them wrong now and get them right on test day this is what practice is for you know you're not going to be perfect in practice like 
practice isn't perfect game day is when you need to be perfect so that's that's the focus like in practice get them wrong learn from them that's what your coaches are going to tell you that's what your family's going to tell you and your friends and it's true as hard as it is to accept that fact it's true learn from it um apply it because you have a tendency to remember things that you get wrong um over over things that you get right because if you got it right you probably got it right because you knew it but if you got it wrong it's probably you got it wrong because either you misapplied the the law or you didn't understand it you misapplied it or you just simply didn't know it it's one of those three things so if you get it wrong you're going to learn from it because you're not going to want to get it wrong again it's like okay why did i get this wrong let me understand why i got it wrong and then you're not going to get it wrong again i promise you or and if you if you do get it wrong it's because you talked yourself out of the answer because you felt like oh because the facts weren't the same that couldn't have been the answer not the case um it's not a perfect process but trust it and and you'll get through and then finally keep your eye on the prize at the end of the day the goal is not to be perfect you're not trying to ace the exam you're trying to pass the exam so focus on your strengths and if you can get stronger in your strengths that's going to play very well in your favor. So I have been keeping my own prize, and that is to never have to go through this process to this extent. My Valentine. <laughs> we so lucky. No, tomorrow I'm going to give you a rose. I'm gonna give her a rose tomorrow. We're gonna be each other's Valentine since we ain't got one. And I'm gonna do the silhouette challenge. Ooh. <laughs> that smelled good too. Got Shatis spraying me up back there, moisturizing. What are we using? Miel. Miel. Rice water. Collection. See what they talking about. First time using it. Yeah, and no, I have not answered one since the last. Right. Finish that one. <laughs> Which, but they say that you can add like lavender and different types of oil from it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the